Cheltenham Gaumont Palace opened on the 6th of March 1933. The predominant feature of the exterior was the large blue vertical sign proclaiming the name Gaumont Palace. On the 16th of December 1962, the Gaumont changed its name to Odeon, in keeping with the rank organisation's policy. The palace is a rectangular building, standing on what had once been the High Bridge Apple. It has a stucco front, 90 feet wide, and the depth of the building is 144 feet. On either side of the neon sign advertising the theatre's name are two dancing figures engraved in the stone. Once again, they had been designed by Newbury A. Trent, cousin of the architect, and were meant to typify the spirit and romance of the film. Immediately inside the entrance doors is the foyer. Doors facing the entrance doors led to the 1,000 seats in the stalls and to the left and right, stairs led to the restaurant and circle. The restaurant closed in 1956. In contrast to earlier Gaumont palaces, the auditorium at Cheltenham was simple but very modern. No attempt had been made to design an ornate interior. Instead, the whole design is one of simplicity and restfulness. The circle swings round in an unbroken sweep of 86 feet from side to side. The simple decoration had been attained in the typical W.R. Trent manner of broad horizontal bands. This time, instead of being an exterior feature of the building, they are used on the inside of the auditorium. Warm orange and beige were the colours he used. The bands run in an unbroken line around the auditorium and end at the proscenium opening on the side of which are large fluted scrolls in gold. The ceiling slopes back in stages to a long central cove and used to be lighted from below by invisible lights. This long narrow finger used to conceal the lights and was an excellent decorative feature. The broader area of the ceiling used to be decorated in waved bands of green and silver and the specially designed pendant lights, long since removed, were a very notable feature. When the Gaumont opened in 1933, the Compton organ was played by Frederick Bacow, the resident organist at the Gaumont British controlled Dominion, Tottenham Court Road. The organ was removed in 1964. Stage performances were always very popular, but particularly during the 1950s, when whole weeks were devoted to variety shows. In later years, these dwindled to a pantomime at Christmas, and one-night stands by pop groups became the order of the day. The last stage performance was by Cliff Richard in 1972, and almost immediately after, on the 11th of November, work commenced on tripling the auditorium. The Gaumont, by now Odeon, opened as a triple on January the 1st, 1973, but there were still 800 seats in the circle. Programme policy had always been to play the Gaumont British release. But after Odeon and Gaumont circuits were merged in 1948, Gaumont's tended to play the inferior product, while the Odeon circuit took the choice. Until 1960, Cheltenham Gaumont played concurrently with the Gaumont, formerly Hippodrome, Gloucester, only nine miles away. After 1960, the theatre switched to the stronger Odeon release.